Our second Skip Jason recipient is Joel L. Meyer of In Call Research, Inc., Dover, Delaware. Joel Meyer has been working in the affordable housing and community development field for 46 years. He didn't even look that old. Uh, from Lancaster County, he started right out of college as a brethren volunteer assigned to Freedom Village in the Mississippi Delta in 1972. He worked with displaced cotton plantation workers on housing and economic development efforts. Later, he joined Delta Housing in Indian Indianola, working with Kim Herman and Clanton Beeman on self-help housing and apartment and subdivision development. In 1976, Joe received a call to start help to call to help start a new rural housing effort in Delaware and Del Marva called InCall. That began 42 years of employment, 37 as executive director, growing InCall's lines of business and impact. Meyer began with InCall developing RD 515 projects and organizing sponsors. Soon after, he used his self-help housing experience as InCall became a regional TNMA provider for the Northeast. Next, InCall started its consumer programs offering home ownership counseling and later for foreclosure prevention and financial coaching. In 2004, InCall became a Treasury certified CDFI and began its community lending to nonprofits. The restoring Central Dover community development effort followed in 2012, as did single family real estate development. The work of NCAL's board and staff led to 56 apartment communities, 35 years of self-help technical assistance, 8,700 first-time home buyers, 1,300 foreclosed saves, over 5,000 people financially coached, and 130 million loaned for economic development. NCAL has improved public policy nationally through NRAC and HAC and in Delaware through the Delaware Housing Coalition, which Meyer founded. InCall is a top tier producer in the NeighborWorks network with an exemplary rating. Joe has an MBA from Delaware State University. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome Joe Meyer to the podium. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> um, thank you both so, so much. And the Housing Assistance Council, this is quite, uh, quite humbling. Um, so 46 years, it's been a great career, uh, something I'm very, very thankful for. It's really a, a blessing. Um, right out of college, going to Freedom Village, uh, Mississippi, and uh, trying to do something in sort of the most difficult and challenging situation uh, I could imagine anyhow, um, <clears throat> really set me on course uh, for this career. I can thank the Church of the Brethren for that. They sent me there as a, as a volunteer. But it's where I got my baptism into this work. And, um, and then moving on there, as, as, as said to Delta Housing, uh, where better to learn about self-help housing and uh, subdivision development and doing our first apartments than with Kim Herman and Clanton Beeman, uh, my mentors in, in Mississippi. And uh, you know, I'm really thankful. Uh, Bob Raposa tells me he was in the room when uh, Clay Cochran and the Rural Housing Alliance uh, agreed to make a small grant to start something on the Delmarva Peninsula called NCOL. And, um, <clears throat> That was a good decision, and uh, I'm really uh, glad that happened. Uh, I got the call to come up to, uh, to 
Dover, Delaware, and I found the conditions weren't that much different than the uh, than the Delta, and uh, and we were able to do all the all the things that, that you've shared, and I think have some some real impact. As everybody here knows, this work is not done in a vacuum; it's done together. Um, I've been blessed, uh, and NCOL has been blessed with with strong governance, a progressive board of directors, and demanding excellence, and desiring growth, and fostering best practices, and expecting us to work on public policy, which is is a good thing. By the way, the Housing Assistance Council has always had a great connection with NCOL. Uh, back since 1976, uh, we've had had a hack connection on our board of directors, and that started with Linda Kravitz, who was uh, our, our board uh, president for a while. John Frisk, who many of you would know, a uh, longtime board member and president. Hal Wilson was a board member who helped our, start our CDFI and our loan fund. And then most recently, uh, uh, Joe Belden. I won't say how old you are, Joe, right? But. Uh, <laughs> Joe Belden, who helped uh, really as a board member and to develop the loan fund and do resource development. Uh, thank you, Hack. It's been a great, uh, great connection that uh, David assures me somehow will continue. So, that's, uh, which, which is, is good. And then staff. <clears throat> what can I say about staff? It's all of our employees uh, are the heart of our organizations and truly make it what it is. And uh, each are leaders in their lines of, of business and more. So when I think of, of our staff, uh, representatively would be Karen Speakman and Jill Lorden, both deeply involved in uh, housing throughout our region and housing uh, nationally. Jill leading our, our self-help housing uh, TNMA work throughout the Northeast and her fantastic uh, self-help team. And Karen Speakman, now and calls uh, executive director. I don't have any of those headaches anymore, Karen. Where are there? Okay, uh, no, not not that many headaches actually. But but Karen is longtime deputy, a leader in this field, past president of, of NRHC, uh, been an integral part of all of the accomplishments that that you've heard here at Encall. And then peers, just thank you so much. The peer interaction, I, I was thinking back, I was listening to the, the session this morning, uh, HACK and NRHC uh, just really helps us to learn from one another. It builds momentum, it, it emboldens us to do new things and keeps us from being isolated uh, in, in our parts of, of the country. Um, so NCOL has been an amazing organization to work for. I've been, I'm so thankful for this career. Um, one thing I really have enjoyed is hiring good people, providing professional development, and providing, hopefully, avenues for, for leadership. Um, because after all, we're housers, but we're also employers, and that's, that's an important thing. And the dollars leveraged and the <coughs> units built and the people served are all very important. But this work uh, that everyone in this room is involved in, it really is bigger. Uh, it's a journey to advance peace and justice in our small patches of the world. And that's a good journey. I do, uh, so this is a gift. I appreciate it. Um, I look forward to staying connected in this work. Um, I hope to do some contract work and consulting, but at a more relaxed pace. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very much.